Hello Sagittarians and welcome. If you are new here or if you are returning, welcome back. Um, I have to first to apologize about my um, absence, the very long pause that I have had growing my channel. I have had a very long and rough year, um, but now that I have time, I'm able to sit down and do what I love to do the most, which is give you these messages. We are... So we're going to start with the um, Oracle deck, which is the um, spell casting card. Um, Sagittarian, Sun, Moon, and Rising for November 2024. What are the messages you have for Sagittarian? I feel like this one has heaps of come out. So that's a lot of messages. Okay, so I'm not going to go in and read all these, but I'm going to show you what came out. We have travel. We have trust. We have commitment. And we have proof. Okay? <clears throat> Sagittarian, Sun, Moon, and Rising for November 2024. Please give me a message card. Spirit. I just need one. Give me one message card for us. Okay, so we have peace. I remember um, <clears throat> someone else had this sun sign earlier. And it does require you guys to take some time out. Okay, this is, uh, it says this is a time for quiet, a time for reflection, to be still. The peace you crave requires you to slow down, to stop thinking, and to take time out. Give yourself a chance to be silent in order to hear the loving messages of angels' whispers. To feel the spirit rest upon your head and to open your heart to appreciate the beauty around you. Be still, breathe, and go deep into the sanctuary within. Here in this sacred place, you'll find restoration of balance and harmony. And then you'll be able to see the, with new eyes and achieve a sense of peace in every moment. All right, let's go on with the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say for you guys for November. Sagittarian, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs, November 2024. Please show me clearly what are the messages you have for Sagittarians. Oh, this one wants to come out already. Some of you are very happy, stable in your home. Um, I'm hearing more well-grounded. Or some of you are um, planting roots somewhere new is what, what they're telling me. Um, I'm also seeing it is a completion with the ten here. So some of you are just definitely having... Some good times, which kind of makes sense because it does go with the peace card here. So, looks like some of you have already time um, taken the time out. Very good card, happy, harmony, peaceful life, living at home. I'm getting more like the Pentacles side. Some of you may have moved. Okay. Sagittarian, what are the other messages you have for Sagittarian for November? And at least you guys started off with a good reading or a good card because most of my other signs had nothing but negative energy. Sagittarian, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wish fulfillment. It's almost like you. Um, I'm getting more like 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 the peace card said. Like you crave this. Um, yeah, we have the nine of cups. Um, it did come out in the upright, and it's also a card of um, for being the genie in the deck. Okay, the wish card. 
for what it's saying here is make your wish and your wish shall be granted. I'm also seeing here that this person can be very smug. You can also be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces or Cancer. Um, <clears throat> with the Cups cards here, I'm seeing here this person may be from another country. Um, with the different hat is what they're showing me here. This person likes to wear a red hat. But the hat is also different. But this person's also very smug too. So just remember that somebody may be feeling like they're up in the clouds or high up there in rank. Um, kind of showing off what it is that they have. But now we have the Two of Swords, so there, there is a decision that needs to be made. I'm seeing some of you um, have put a blindfold over your eyes. Very distant from your emotions right now. It's almost like your um, arms are crossed over your heart, so it's almost, you're not allowing anything in, which is good. But I do see you... I'm hearing more split decisions. Two of Split Decisions. It's what it's saying here is what you're not allowing in or allowing close to you or that close to you won't touch you. I'm doing, I am seeing a child here. We do have the sun. Um, it also can be that you guys are traveling. They're bringing my attention to the feather that this child is wearing over its head. Or if it's on its head, it might be in the background, but I see a feather. Something having to do with horses as well. A white horse in specific, but I'm getting more here that um, you've created a very happy home life for yourself. Sagittarians, another card for Sagittarians. There are also maybe two children. Um, but I'm seeing one as of right now. Very young child. Feeling like um, some of you also may be feeling like you have... I'm getting more control. You're trying to control a situation, um, not wanting to give up on the situation. I'm seeing here that it may have to do with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, we do have, I'm getting more like Capricorn here in this reading too. But I'm seeing here that some of you may be feeling like you're trapped, like you're stuck in a situation. Um, but what it's saying is that the chains aren't that tight, that they're they're loose, and I'm hearing you're free to go, is what I'm getting. It's almost like with heartbreak, a disappointment, um, it could be within love, with um, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? It can also be addictions here with the Devil card. Um, this person may also be obsessed with you, is what I'm seeing. More disappointment is what I'm getting in that you're free to go. The chains are not that tight. They're very loose where you can just move on. Okay, I thought one needs to come out. Yeah, there it is. And then we have the seven of wands in reverse. So there you are. Um, I'm seeing here that it's kind of almost like with this in reverse that you actually have let go. Um, you don't want to hold on to the situation anymore. I'm seeing here you're very guarded um, with yourself and your boundaries and the people around you. I'm also seeing here that travel may be postponed or delayed. Um, well, I'm also getting here that with the seven in reverse that you are feeling like there's no winning this battle. It's better for you to avoid conflict and just walk away from the situation no matter how much it is you've tried to talk um, to this person or have people see things your way. People just don't see your viewpoint um, any longer. It's better to save your energy. All right, Sagittarians, that is your reading for November 2024. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. It does help my channel to grow. Um, uh, also, share this video. Subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to share.